Hey, welcome back everybody. Happy Saturday. Hope we're having a wonderful start to the weekend out there and hopefully uh, we've got some exciting plans today and tomorrow. Uh, now we do still have some active weather ongoing out there, much like we saw yesterday, a lot of that again today, but uh, things are going to shake itself up a little bit here uh, going into early next week as that pattern tries to kind of evolve some and I'll let you know exactly how that's going to happen in today's video. Uh, now if you haven't already subscribed, please do so, like the video as well. Uh, again, trying to get to 10,000 subs here by the end of hurricane season. And uh, for how slow things have been, we've had some incredible growth over the past uh, week or two. Um, we've gained, you know, just under 100 subscribers. Uh, and uh, the videos have been doing all, uh, doing all right for, uh, again, considering how slow things have been. So again, thank you to all of you for watching and tuning in. Uh, means a lot to me. Also, um, for those of you who were able to watch our podcast last Sunday with Mitch West, I think we're going to record another one tomorrow afternoon that will probably, uh, again, premiere tomorrow evening sometime. Uh, so again, uh, keep an eye out for that. A great way to get notified about that is next to the subscribe button. There's a little bell icon. You can hit that uh, and then hit all notifications after you click that little pop-up should appear. Uh, so again, definitely consider doing that to uh, stay up to date with the latest. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think that's all I got for you. So we can go ahead and start talking about the weather now. Uh, again, taking a look at satellite imagery, you know, much like yesterday, much of that cloudy and stormy weather confined to the southeast United States. Also some storms out here into the central plains. Um, but um, we're really going to be focusing on the eastern side of the country today, kind of uh, as we take a look at uh, some things. But with that pattern change, we will take a you know a bigger look and a bigger zoom out uh, later on in the video. So again, uh, stay tuned to that. But you know, again, much like yesterday with that cloud cover, also seeing that on radar this Saturday. Uh, again, widespread uh, rounds of showers and storms working on through the southeast. Uh, from Virginia through the Carolinas, even portions of East Tennessee and Kentucky getting in on that rain. Uh, Georgia, Alabama seeing some big rain this morning. And then also, like I mentioned, uh, that rain back out into the central part of the country uh, is also ongoing and uh, dropping some pretty good totals. So uh, again, for everyone else, though, I should mention this uh, kind of into this region right here, uh, about as nice of uh, weather as you can ask for really the heart of summer here, uh, getting here into even late July now. So uh, again, uh, that front that is stalled out, you know, bringing all sorts of different things, but overall, probably welcome weather for most of us. Again, most of the places that are seeing rain have been just hot and dry and are probably happy about it. And those of us that aren't seeing the rain and have the nicer, cooler air, um, you know, obviously that's a nice thing in July too. So uh, overall, probably a pattern that most people are pleased with. Now this afternoon, we will have to watch out for some strong and severe storms through the Carolinas, even into uh, southeastern Georgia from really Jacksonville northbound through Virginia Beach along the I-95 corridor. Could see a couple stronger storms this afternoon. Really, the main threat today is going to be strong straight line winds. Uh, and really that should be the only notable threat uh, with these storms this afternoon. So uh, with that said, let's go ahead and dive on into that uh, storm threat and uh, give you the latest timing here uh, with some model guidance. So. Uh, again, this is probably about the time you're watching this, about 11, 12 a.m., uh, you know, kind of like what we're seeing out there right now. Now, I will say, uh, let me actually back it up just a little here. If we compare this to when I'm recording this, you know, about 9 a.m. or so, although it's really about 9.30 I'm recording this, but look at that compared to current radar, and uh, you'll notice this model is missing a lot of this rain that is falling. So um, this is just one of those patterns that oftentimes it rains a little bit more than the model shows. So I would kind of overdo everything you see on this map by a tad. Uh, we even saw that yesterday. Um, so uh, you'll notice though, either way, getting into this afternoon and evening, uh, widespread rainfall develops. Again, already pretty widespread right now, but becomes even more widespread through the afternoon and evening hours. Uh, and uh, just kind of continues onward, you know, through much of our Saturday uh, here, even again, get over uh, into the overnight hours, still seeing that rain moving on through, becoming more scattered in nature overnight for sure, but still going to be raining for a lot of folks. Uh, and then we wake up to our Sunday morning, and again, we're going to do it all again, widespread showers and storms developing during the afternoon and evening hours, uh, and uh, just going to continue, you know, what we started yesterday. So, uh, you know, I think, you know, Saturday and Sunday are really going to be like Friday. Um, now, you might get a little bit more rain than Friday. You might get a little less rain than Friday. That's just the nature of how things are going to work here. But uh, just the same general pattern, cooler temperatures due to that cloud cover and rainfall, um, you know, for uh, July standards. So 
Uh, that's kind of the same plan today, uh, much like we've had it ongoing. So uh, northeast, a little bit different up here where that boundary is still kind of draped to the south of you, but it will try to creep north again this afternoon. You'll notice here uh, also a bit of a short wave going to try to move in out of Canada here. So you'll notice a thin skinny line of showers and storms up to your north uh, and also some showers and storms to your south. But overall, much of the northeast is going to kind of be in a Goldilocks zone today, if you will, of uh, nicer weather with even still some of that drier air hanging on. Uh, but uh, don't rule out this afternoon and evening a couple showers and even storms trying to develop here off the Poconos, uh, moving potentially into the Scranton area, the uh, southern Hudson River Valley of New York State, uh, maybe even into portions of New Jersey. You can see some of those showers and storms working on through, but much less uh, coverage than we're going to see in the southeast. So again, probably a nicer day up here. Uh, and then we get into Sunday. Again, that little short wave out of Canada Sunday morning, trying to swing on through uh, portions of New England, probably not producing all that much rain. Uh, but again, Sunday afternoon, can't rule out an isolated storm. But overall, again, pretty tame, pretty nice, uh, all things considered. All right, you know what I'm actually going to do here on the spot, and I didn't pull this up, but we're going to also take a look at the north central U.S. because I know I've got a lot of people watching up here, and I never pulled up that map. So uh, let me do that here, and we'll even back this up here to about where we are now. So uh, up in this part of the country, again, Michigan, Ohio, Wisconsin, relatively nice, but we are seeing some showers into Iowa this afternoon. Uh, that will continue to, you know, you know, happen, I guess, throughout the day. Uh, also can't even rule out some showers and storms. Uh, later on this evening up through Minnesota and portions of northern Wisconsin. Uh, kind of the way that this is working is we're getting, you know, some more of that northerly flow to try to work back on in here. Uh, kind of like we had a couple days ago. It's trying to, you know, reinvigorate itself a little bit, but to a lesser extent. So some scattered showers and storms this afternoon and evening through this area is possible. Severe weather pretty unlikely, though, uh, with these storms. We'll do it all again Sunday. Again, a little bit more widespread coverage. Really, Wisconsin, Minnesota, and the Dakotas uh, and Nebraska are going to be the bigger uh, victims of this uh, you know, rainfall. But places like Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, probably a bit drier. Uh, but again, you know, could see some showers and storms during the afternoon hours for those states that we just talked about. So, uh, you know, just going to pull that up on the fly and let you see it. So. All right, pattern change slash pattern right now slash pattern to come, you know, just the overall weather pattern that we're in. Kind of, you know, you know, just going to continue what we're seeing now, but we are going to evolve it a little bit here uh, going into this coming week. And you'll notice right now kind of the general picture that we're seeing. Again, this kind of big trough up into Canada. That's what's going to bring a couple showers probably into New England tomorrow uh, that I showed you. But we also still have this kind of trough. Uh, that kind of, you know, got cut off a little bit, you know, a couple days ago, uh, and it's just hanging out into the central part of the country and will continue to do so uh, through Saturday and Sunday. Uh, but by the time we get into this coming week, this is when the pattern is going to change a little bit. So this area in blue, again, is an area of troughing and low pressure here at 500 millibars, or about middle in the atmosphere here. Uh, and that will continue to hang out over the central part of the country, but at the uh, at the same time, on the other side, we're going to get that southeast ridge to try to kind of you know nudge its nose back in here, and that combined with the flow around this trough uh, is going to lead to some pretty big flow out of the Gulf of Mexico. So I think uh, this general area that I'm just going to kind of you know draw here uh, probably going to have some increased rain chances like we're seeing now through at least the next week now it might not be quite as widespread as we've seen the past couple days in the southeast but uh, definitely more widespread than we were seeing just a week or two ago uh, in the rainfall department which is overall good news because again we've got some drought to beat away here now the unfortunate side of this is getting uh, further ahead, you'll notice uh, this uh, southeast ridge really starts to push west a little bit, uh, and this is really going to unfortunately increase our temperatures uh, along the eastern seaboard. It's going to start to feel a lot more like summer, but again, still probably seeing some of those afternoon storms as well. Uh, and that's just a theme that it's going to continue here probably through much of next week. So we'll watch out for that. Uh, and the Climate Prediction Center showing that on their temperature map within six to ten days, you'll notice again some cooler temperatures due to that troughing that is kind of locked in place, but. Uh, I notice that southeast ridge picking up steam in the eastern seaboard, uh, starting to get a tad warmer here. Also, uh, warmer once more back up through the northern Great Plains, seeing these above average temperatures. So, uh, again, watching out for that. One good thing, though, again, in the rainfall department, as I said, that increased flow out of the Gulf will definitely increase rainfall chances through much of the eastern half of the country. So, that is some good news, uh, and again, should continue to help with some drought relief. 
All right, just giving you a general idea of what this might look like on radar. I'm going to kind of breeze on through this because there's only so much global models can do with precipitation maps this far out. But uh, again, we'll start this at uh, Monday afternoon. You'll notice again, uh, widespread showers and storms picking back up through the eastern half of the country, especially down into Texas, where we could really some, uh, see some enhanced rainfall out of this uh, overall pattern. And this just continues through next week. Notice wave after wave of after wave of rain, excuse me, uh, kind of develops down into the Gulf and just kind of rides up along this ridge uh, so we'll definitely watch out for that you know could uh, definitely help the drought situation uh, and then we'll see if anything you know tries to change here in the medium to long run uh, as we get you know towards the end of July but overall this pattern probably gonna lock itself in for at least a week and again one side effect of that is going to be a lot of rainfall so again uh, you'll notice the southeastern United States, especially Texas, Louisiana, and then the mountains of North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia, probably going to be the biggest winners out of this, uh, with potentially four to six inches of rainfall in those areas. Everywhere else, probably two to four uh, within the next week. Isolated spots, obviously seeing more or less, depending on how lucky you get with those afternoon storms. Uh, but nonetheless, a pretty good drought relief looks to you know work itself in here for much of the eastern half of the country. All right, final map I'm going to show you is our temperature map here. Um, this is this afternoon, or excuse me, tomorrow afternoon, Sunday. Again, the overall theme is if you're seeing rain, it's cooler than average. If you're not seeing rain, you're going to be about average, maybe a little above average. Um, so, you know, that continues even Monday. Uh, but by the time we get later into this coming week, I'll just stop this at Wednesday. Uh, again, you'll still notice a lot of blue showing up here. Um, well, if I pick a color that you can actually see that is. Um, a lot of blue still showing up here. Uh, indicating those cooler than average temperatures, but uh, again, it's going to be a mixed bag. Obviously, if you're seeing those afternoon storms, like I mentioned, then yeah, that's probably right, but uh, notice these little pockets of orange picking back up. That's going to be, especially into Florida, uh, that's that southeast ridge trying to poke its nose in, trying to increase those temperatures. Uh, we'll just have to see how much that rain can beat that down. Uh, some models are a little more excited that that rain might do a lot to beat it down. Other models, you know, say, well, you know, it might be a little more scattered uh, and temperatures might be a little warmer. Uh, again, though, just one of those things that we're probably going to have to now cast a little bit as we get uh, a little bit closer to that time. But uh, yeah, either way, I'll keep you updated for sure. All right. Well, I appreciate y'all watching. I know it's a little bit of a shorter video, but we're kind of in a calmer pattern right now. So I'm uh, going to take advantage of that a little bit here and just uh, I'll take a breather before hurricane season inevitably uh, picks back up with steam here. Uh, and again, I think hurricane season will probably be quiet through the end of July. I think once we get past the first week of August, though, uh, things are going to once again probably start brewing out in the Atlantic. Uh, and uh, I have a feeling once it starts, it probably won't stop until the season is over. So we'll see what happens, uh, but I'll definitely keep you up. Updated. All right, y'all have a great rest of your Saturday. Stay safe. Uh, have a you know great day. You know, make it a good day, and I will see you all tomorrow.